We are continuing this little series of videos that you seem to particularly appreciate because we are trying to show you a little bit of what the Raspberry Pi 5, which will be available soon, is capable of doing with quite a few systems that have been tested so far. I invite you to go watch the playlist and of course there will be others that we will be happy to show you in the future. For now anyway, as the outfit suggests, I'm going to talk to you about our good old PlayStation 1 and you'll see that there are still beautiful things to discover. Let's go! So inevitably, one of the first questions you'll ask me is, why does the PS1 work well with the Pi 3, Pi 4 and everywhere? Why be interested in the PS1 on the Raspberry Pi 5? And of course, because we are going to show you possibilities in terms of upscaling, because the PlayStation 1 is good, but uh, let's be honest, it's a bit eye-catching. Tomb Raider and company, Destruction Derby one, to name just a few. And, uh, well, it was not far from being very, very polygonal. And, well, we are going to upscale all this a little bit, and we are going to show you what it can give, of course, as usual, comparative video between the traditional PlayStation 1 without any improvement on Pi 4 and PlayStation 1 with improved graphics on Raspberry Pi 5. As per usual, you know the drill. You contemplate taking a quick glance at the FPS counter in the top right corner to ascertain if everything is fine. We are supposed to aim for a frame rate of 60 FPS except for PAL games, which are in our language here in France. So they will run at a frame rate of 50 FPS. Sorry I leave them. For the rest, I let the images speak for themselves and we'll meet just after for a little conclusion. Let's go. <laughs>
what can we mention about this PlayStation console and this Raspberry Pi 5 device? To be honest, I find that the upscale feature has a significant positive impact on many games. It provides them with a touch of youth and freshness without being overly aggressive. While we could have done more, we aimed for relatively simple adjustments that would benefit all players. Our main focus is establishing parameters that are universally applicable to every game in our collection, ensuring maximum effectiveness and enjoyment for all. In any case, I really enjoy it, and it makes me want to immerse myself back into specific games. I hope you like it, that it hypes you up, because I think the little upscale side doesn't distort the game. It brings a little extra additional accessibility, because today our eyes have become a bit accustomed to this high definition. We will be able to do a little more, we will be able to optimize all these options even more in the future, but for a first draft anyway, well, we are relatively satisfied and count on us to offer you these options in the future. Version 9.2 of Recalbox. Thanks for following. Remember to subscribe as there are more exciting videos coming and we'll see you soon for new videos. Hello friends.